trace this down from sweat and his eyes were closed. And my eyes would open up and he roll back in his head. Mayo can. This may be a better tambura, uh, tambura but, but all of the local ones are just maybe go tied and whatever they can find. They're so resourceful. interesting tape. You gotta watch it over and over again whenever you're bored. So would this be like a folk, an Italian folk song? <laughs> this is, is the, the primary folk song of, of the Neapolitan. They, uh, they play it with many different uh, lyrics, but the rhythm is always the same. The lyric and the melody is always the same. And it goes on for hours. Yeah. And they'll make the lyric up as they go along. Uh, like this one, this one is about a beautiful woman named Rosa, and uh, that's an old one. So the thing that makes it traditional is the melody more than yeah, the lyric. Yeah, because we've heard, I've heard them sing about their favorite soccer team, and oh, that beautiful girl over yeah, there. Yeah, well, so many of the songs that Sean's learning on his banjo, these old American folk songs and things, he's replacing lyrics all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have you got for your place a lot with uh, lyrics? Sounds like a lot of people do that. You know that song or that tape that you made for me on uh, the Bruce Springsteen desert that we got through it? I ain't got, I ain't got no home in this world anymore. That's an older song. That's, that's more of a religious song. Well, can't find no home? Something like that, yeah. The, 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 the tune is the same, but the lyrics have a more sort of... Bruce? Yeah? Laura just told me. So, what happened was, all the stuff that we thought we copied isn't there at all. Okay. So, uh, and will we be able to put it on later? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> you, just, you just missed, missed the, uh, the uh, oh, you just turned out my light. Or you can just start, scratch yourself as soon as you scratch yourself. I don't think that's going to work. It's going to frustrate myself. Well. Oh, That's a good idea. Yeah. It's the same song. Does it hurt to take? Yeah. Hey, Kara, what's that mess in the pot? Afterburn. Oh, pretty's brain. <laughs> These slide pitches. favor for a second? Sure. Could you could you tell me your name and what you do and how old you are and stuff like that? My name is Heather Simmons. Yeah. I'm 27 years old. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. I was born in 1965. Yeah, I'm a snake. Uh-huh. I'm um, a priest. It's quite appropriate. They're great. So what do you do? I do a number of things. I don't have interest me at the moment. Uh-huh. Because right now that's holding a candle. You can't hold a candle to I me. I do things like this too. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> if it interests me. Right. Okay, thanks. Nick? Nick, how old are you now? 28. 28. And what what do you what do you do? I'm 28. I'm 28. Come on, tell me about it. Yeah, I'm 28, but I do the Augustine. 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 Augustine.
Fabulous vegetarian meal. Isn't that right? I was like, a spray of mint in like a little yogurt container, like a little triangular shaped yogurt container, and there's like a little spray of <laughs> all the herbs from these little plastic. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh my, but she did show me a lovely beverage called Scrumpy. And it's, scrumpy, it's the most scrumpy. I made. She took me to this little bar right here. Wait, this Scrumpy? No, it's, like, it's a cloudy, really dry <laughs> apple cider. I know. Tupperware like, sales. Oh, she loves apple cider. She it's used to buy it. It's from Devon. This is. Damn fine. Where they make it? Oh, it's like scrumpy. Oh, you're scrumpy. Oh, you're scrumpy. You're all the cooking. No one ever ever mentioned you. What am I getting? Okay, what you're making? No one ever said anything. And then Alice's mother came from like what? And she'd been here three hours. And Alice and I were making like tuna sandwiches with like a lot of vegetables and stuff like that. Stronger than beer. And Alice's mother was sitting there and she was watching Rianne and she's just going, Jesus Christ, Rianne, you can't eat like. She teased me in it over she cooked it. We had never amazing. ever mentioned it. Really we were all like, <laughs> <laughs> She didn't put I okay to mention it. That was the screen. Had to be and why was my mother? She, she, she just yeah. laughed. Why was oh, that's the end of the story. We, when I was working last year, your parents are quite like, poor, aren't they? She couldn't stay up here. She walked. I was last October. I was working on a movie, and I gave a copy of my mom and Russell's and my novel to the producer. And about four months later, we got a call saying we'd like this. Write this a synopsis. We wrote a synopsis. I'm getting good response to the synopsis. Write a screenplay. So I called my mom, and she said, "I'll be there on Wednesday." And so my mom flew up, and, and she lived, lived in my bed for a week. Well, we sat there writing a screenplay. We had like a week to write a screenplay of this novel. Well, and my mom stayed in my room, and I would come every morning for Flores, and uh, if we would write it, it was, I mean, collaborating with anyone is, is getting difficult, but when it's your mom, <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's laying in your bed. Did she do your laundry, though? It was a weird week, too, because no, that was... Right, sexy so what happened? <laughs> yeah, we did. We were writing sex scenes. <laughs> With my mom. Mom, she was a very valuable. Well, your father. It was very weird. Yeah. 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 Ye
an independent producer or a studio? <laughs> a studio. A studio with a branching It's the biggest Canada. studio in Canada. Yeah. It's big, you mean this branch of ABC is yeah, the biggest studio in Canada? No, no. no. <laughs> they have a deal with ABC. Oh, I see. What do you mean? <laughs> ABC signed a deal with a production company in Canada and a production company in Yes, it did. Years ago. What's the name of that company? My first, first when you were young and foolish? Astral Pathé. Astral Pathé. So people who want to Pathé? Yeah. And, and, the, and so they plan to be able to make five movies for TV, international, with, with international distribution. And, and Bruce, I saw that little thing back in there and I thought it was crystal. <laughs> <laughs> it you know, is. Farmer's Market, oh, I'm sorry. This one was the Flying Vegetables, and she went, so I think that's appealing for well, it's crystal and dangled it over the egg plant. No. Yeah. The, the yeah. Plan. no. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, kind of thing that Georgia Mapplethorpe was arrested for, and then she is like dressing like a six-year-old with the little pink skirts and the little hair and the ponytails, and I mean, she is looking. Maybe it's just my imagination, but she was looking at a lollipop when she. Maybe it's just me. They weren't supposed to be allowed to do that. She's frightened. And then there's the one in the Vogue where she's all dressed up in the 60s. She's got two coming out at the same time. (coughs) One for the record and one for the book. (laughs) Well, she's got it, yeah. yeah. Well, apparently her square is an asshole. How much did you buy? How much was it? I went and bought some CDs today at a used place on uh, on Bloor, and and I, I... I basically was Sean. Sean, we just got. Hopefully, you're out of focus. Um, 27, 28 years old, Peter and um, um, it's October. It was you. We just 12, got back yeah. today from shooting out thirty. Oh, really? oh, oh yeah. Who's reading? Who's reciting this poem? Well, what do you want to be in like, in ten uh, years? In ten years, I'd like to be making really good films. And twenty CDs and twenty tapes. So she's got some kind of thing going. Thank you. Directing a company. Seems to me that she just She. I don't know where she. How she. Well, maybe she buys them and puts them on tape and then sells them. Nope. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Uh, how old are you? Almost 28. Is, is that, you, were you born with that nose, or is that... Uh, <laughs> yes, I've got the Stuart bump, don't you know? Okay, there's the Stuart bump. Let's just get a better look at that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> King Todd. Uh-oh. Hi, Nick. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yes. Uh, could you just uh, say your name and how old you are? And <laughs> You've already said my name. You've I'm got me there. <laughs> you didn't Let's get that rolling you suck, Nick. Oh, uh, oh, actually, look, you can see I just ripped part of my toenail off and it's bleeding a little bit. Oh, <laughs> blood. That's what you need on video. Blood. Well, I'll show it in the fireplace. <laughs> 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 you that lens can. <laughs> 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 You're still recording, you think? No, I'm not. The lights flashing. Who is it? Who is it? Hey Nick, how how old are you and what's your job? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know that. Yeah, right. Another job. question. What's your job? What's I your job? Know. Come on. What, uh, what is my job? Yeah. yeah. Probing minds or inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> uh, I have recently acquired a full time position at the University of Toronto Ooh, as a lecturer. Oh, and you got, oh my God! You got a full time position. What do you see yourself I doing in ten that. years? What would you like to do ideally in ten years? Uh, lecturing at the University of Toronto. Lecturing. Jesse, <laughs> 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 uh, German. Well, it's a good place for lecturing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. The Hart House School is where I'm Prime <laughs> spot, prime yeah. locale. Uh, what do I see myself doing in 10 years? Ideally, yeah. Building a house. You're not pointing at me. I am. <laughs> 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 I so would just build a house and live in my house. You're going to see the black voice yeah. behind you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> building a house? Yeah. What about yeah. work? Any help? <laughs> what about work? What would you, you want to be doing like in work? What? what? What about work? What would you want to be doing? Oh, I don't want to work. You don't want to work? What do you lecture yeah. in? Uh, I, in biomedical communications. That's enough, God. thank you. Are these the same flowers that we have? Yeah, glad you asked.
I'm gonna borrow this and read it. Hey! Careful, you're gonna fuck something up, man. <laughs> it's really horrible seeing yourself on videotape. It's worse than photographs because you realize how much of a dink you you really appear to be. You don't, Nick. Don't be silly. I'm a fucking misfit. I'm tall. I'm narrow shouldered. I have teeth like pigs, <laughs> and I don't have... <laughs> Unzip your pants. <laughs> Why do you shoot in my crotch? <laughs> you weirdo. There's nothing there. Have a seat next to Ross. Have anyway. a seat next to Ross. <laughs> no, I think what we... Oh, there we go. Okay, now, when did you, where, when did you guys meet? <laughs> Nick and I, uh, we first met, uh, it was in Paris, uh, on a subway train, actually, uh, at, uh, Charles de Gaulle Etoile. I was getting off the train with, uh, a it was in, uh, it, it was in Egypt, wasn't it? Cairo, I think it was, uh. <laughs> It was at the airport because I was on a, a connecting flight to uh, Zimbabwe, and uh, well, Nick had made a, a pass at one of the stewardesses, and it was uh, unsuccessful. And I was was there in the me. You take this one, Ross. It was in Berlin. Uh, it was about six years ago. I was in a taxi on the way to a, a gas station because I, I needed some petrol. My rental car had broken down on this, the side of the, the street. Where did you and Ross first meet? Um, Ross and I first met actually uh, in the dressing room of the gym at Mount Allison University. Um, he was uh, a friend of Carewell's and he, I think Care had met him or acted with him, been in an art history class with him, and uh, we met in the dressing room of the uh, athletic center. What? <laughs> Where did you first meet Ross? Um, uh, it was at a comic shop in Petticodiac, New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I had just gone in to look for a, a, a first issue of... Uh, of the Silver Surfer, and uh, I thought they might have it, but you know, little did I know that New Brunswick has nothing to offer. Uh, Ross was in there, um, actually he had a job at the time trying to sell Clearasil cleanser to, uh, to small towns in New Brunswick because of the incredible acne problem. And he was asking the man at the counter whether uh, he considered he had a, a bad acne. A bit? <laughs> what are you gonna do, Nick? What are you gonna do tomorrow? <laughs> Nick, what do you think I should do about the table legs? I think they should be sawed off. Sawed off. Sawed off. Sawed off. Sawed off. Sawed off. And, Sawed off. Saw, and uh, or sanded. Or sanded? Aesthetic result. Yeah? Yeah. Then what? Then sawing. Yeah. Okay. I think you have more control when you sand. What about if I used a carrot peeler? Do you think that would work? What no. about if I peeled them, peeled, peeled some wood off of them? No, that's, no. that wouldn't work. That no, wouldn't work? No. Okay. Um, do you miss your mom? Yeah. Uh...